you to bring you luck when you say I do. Something borrowed, advice never promised, when happy never answer, when angry never make a decision when sad. Something blue, a little letter just for you. To our beautiful Natalie, a little gift for you, beyond the ribbon before you walk down the aisle, pause, breathe and take it all in. heard about Joe, um, I was uh, I was just leaving work, I was in London working and I got a phone call from Natalie um, and she was telling me about, about this guy she was seeing and I knew straight away it was different, I knew it was, it, was, it was relatively serious and if I had any doubts about the seriousness of the situation, they were soon quashed the following week when Natalie and Joe went to my mum's for dinner um, and I think from the 30 seconds from Joe leaving my mum's, I had about 25 missed calls off my mum. And anyone that got a missed call off my mum would, would remember that the voicemails were quite lengthy. So, so to have 25 missed calls, you can imagine, I thought there was a, a real emergency, but um, she was basically telling me that she'd, she'd met Nat's new fella. Um, and in her words, I quote this, it makes me laugh, he was like Prince William. <laughs> I just, um, but, but, but honestly, my mum loved him instantly um, and I'm sure she's looking down today super proud saying I told you so. Chambers. When it comes to describing Natalie's good parts, it's hard to know where to begin. She's beautiful, she's intelligent, she's the kindest person I've ever met, and she's an incredible judge of character. <laughs> really though, as soon as we began dating, it was a case of when, not if. She has the biggest heart, and I'm the luckiest man that she holds me in there. You look absolutely stunning today. I couldn't love you more. They say don't marry the person you can't you can live with, marry the one you can't live without. And honestly I'm I'm already there, so but one last time, please raise a glass to the beautiful bride.
Thank you.